Is this frequency open? Is this frequency open? CQ, 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 WX0, MIK, Whiskey X-Ray 0, Mike India Kilo. CQ, 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 WX0, MIK. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Michaels Podcast. This is the Dog Days of Podcasting edition for August, was it 22nd? 22nd, 2019. I am WX0MIK. And uh, today we are continuing our saga of talking about amateur radio. So today we're going to have yet another car cast as I am uh, trying to get ahead while uh, work prevails of uh, working extra late and extra hours in general. <clears throat> Always nice to go a little extra overtime though, so not complaining too loud. So um, yesterday I talked about kind of your first radios. Let's build upon that slightly and talk about your first antenna, antennas. So again, I'm assuming technician level UHF, VHF, because when, uh, you know, the book kind of covered much more broadly the spectrum of uh, antennas. But as far as your first antenna, kind of depends upon what you do. So if all you do is you get your little handheld, might be good enough for, for you, especially if you're just talking about doing or using radio outside. If you are looking at um, using your radio in your car while driving, and at least in the Minnesota hands-free, that is still allowed. <coughs> Any two-way radio is allowed because it's not, quote, distracting or it's not a communication, uh, whatever the the technical terms are. It's allowed. Amateur radio, any walkie-talkie type things is allowed for hands-free. But if you're using it in your car, because you're in a tin can, your your, uh, quality and your distance is going to be drastically reduced. So... You can also get antennas that you mount in your car. And there's multiple different ways to mount them. There's from uh, things you drill holes in the car. Uh, you can uh, do what they call a glass mount that goes through the, the back, like the back glass of your car. Um, there's fender mounts, so you mount them right to a fender. Or there's mag mounts, and that's what I opted for for the first one. The same company that uh, creates the Bofang radio, or at least the, the generic uh, extra antennas, also do the <coughs> uh, has a mag mount. So it was like thirty dollars or something like that. It was what it was. So that is what I opted for to start with. Um, so that sits on the hood of my truck, primarily because. I'm worried about height with um, garage, not so much during summer, but in winter. And then I park in a ramp. So I decided to do a mag mount and put it on my hood. Um, So some sort of antenna like that works. And again, it depends upon your needs. It has worked for me so far. In fact, I've been able to hit like 15 miles out in good conditions. Um, And then um, for your house, let's say you're having problems transmitting from within your house. Well, that should be another antenna. You're going to become a collector of antennas if you are really into this. Um, Many, many, many different options. 
I opted to make a, what are they called? Super, super Slim? Or Slim Jim, Slim Jim. Um, which is kind of a variant of a J-pole antenna, which is another type of antenna. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer, very easy to make, relatively cheap if you have the tools to do it. If you don't have the tools to do it, well, it's going to start costing more. And that is where I start having pet peeves with people who say, well, it's so cheap, all you need is some wire and this and this. Like, well, yeah, and if you have, any, oh, and then they add, any good ham should have all this stuff on hand. It's like, okay, that's great. If I've been doing this for 30 years, I absolutely will probably have all this stuff laying around. I have been doing it for 30 years. I don't have half the stuff you need to do this. I'll talk about that tomorrow or later. Um, so keep that in mind when you're budgeting for this kind of stuff. If you need to put antenna in your house, you might need some coax. You might need some pipe or wire or something to create some sort of a external antenna if you want to make it yourself. If you don't, well now you're looking at buying something and I mean, I've seen base antennas for like $50, $60. So in the realm of things, it's not that bad. But either way, and once you start getting the antenna on your roof, now you're set up for a better mobile or quote base radio slash mobile radio for UHF within your house and then and then and then and then <coughs> so like I'm already starting to look at well you know it'd be a, a and a satellite rig be kind of fun I'll probably not do it quite yet but you see how it goes so um we'll wrap it up there for tonight and I will talk to you again tomorrow uh, hopefully we get back into the core content. So um, until tomorrow, thank you so much for listening, even through these crappy audio car casts. And we will talk to you tomorrow. 73 from WX0MIK. The frequency is now clear. The frequency is clear. WX0MIK. 73.